Hey guys, I want to do a video today. This is going to be my video response to CS Rob 6620's 50 sub contest. Um, he's having a contest over there on his channel. He's a really good guy. I've been he's been subscribed to me for quite a while, and I've been subscribed to his channel as well. Makes some pretty good videos. Um, like I say, super nice guy. I like him. He has some standards. He he's just he's not one of those channels where you go on there and he's bashing other channels and things like that he tries to keep it positive and I and I really enjoy that that's kinda how I try to do my channel just go out and have fun um, have a good time show some good videos some shooting and things of that nature just keep it positive and um, just all about having fun guys and that's kinda what leads up to this uh, contest he, he wanted to know a couple things but one of them was why he wanted to know why we make videos for YouTube well he's asking the question why do you why do you YouTube and I get that question from I've had that question from other people from time to time and some PMs and things like that wanting to know what inspired me to get on here and um, make videos and things like that and um, like a lot of you guys probably originally initially I was um, I just YouTube was just something that I you know I did in my spare time I was bored nothing to do I'd get on YouTube watch some funny videos things like that I never was really into the gun stuff as much I'd watch some but never was really into that tactical community uh, deal but um, I'd say over a year ago this account uh, this is actually my first account I'm not I haven't I started I think in June of last year so prior to that I didn't have an account I would just get on occasionally and watch videos but um, I, I was started to get into um, I've always liked military surplus firearms things like that and um, there was one guy on here in particular um, I started watching some of his videos. Um, he had a lot of military surplus uh, weapons, a lot of videos, things like that. And I got to watching his videos and really enjoyed them. And um, I, that's when I created my account so I could start leaving comments and things like that um, on his videos. So I created this account and I had no intentions of making my own videos at that point. Just uh, just enjoyed watching other people's videos. Some of the big ones like Nothing Fancy and. Uh, Hitcock 45. I really enjoyed watching their videos, and um, I got to thinking to myself one day, um, man, I, I own a lot of firearms. I like to shoot a lot. I got a good place out back here to shoot, and um, so I thought I would post a video. And initially, I think I did a um, my very first. I actually had the, my first video was one of my son um, playing ball. I was just something I just put up there to test, just to see. I didn't know how I'm. I am completely illiterate when it comes to computers and things like that uploading I was just something I was testing out to see if I could do it but um I did an EDC video on my Ruger LCP and you know it got a few views here and there and then and then I did one that was uh, law enforcement related like a law enforcement uh, EDC and that seemed to be real popular that that got a few more hits so anyways um, like I said initially I, I just it was just YouTube was just something to do in my spare time and then I got to watching keeping up with certain guys on here and um, then I started posting a few myself and I tell you what it's been great I've met a lot of met a lot of good people all around this world made a lot of friends um, local and international I've got buddies in Australia and Canada and the Netherlands and Russia and Great Britain and you know I just enjoy it's a lot of fun to see especially I'm talking about tactical gun related stuff to see how the rules the laws the the customs uh, people all over the world you know the things that they have to do and, and it makes me realize how blessed we are in this country here in the United States that you know that we've got a constitution and we have the Second Amendment which guarantees our rights um, to own firearms and, and it's a right that we uh, do not need to take for granted unfortunately uh, it seems like today we're willing to give up a little bit of of our rights for this false sense of security but um, it's all smoke and mirrors, guys. There's, uh, we need to remember that uh, our Second Amendment rights are very important. Our, that's why our founding fathers put them in, the, in there. Um, something we shouldn't take for granted and something we shouldn't let go. Not without a fight, anyways. But anyways, I appreciate it. That was just roughly um, why I got into YouTube. I, just, I'm starting, I really enjoy making the videos. I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy the comments you leave and all the questions. and get a lot of questions about legal advice about firearms and uh, trust me I'm no expert but I mean I do the best I can if you if you send me a message or if you leave a comment I'm gonna try my best to answer you so um, anyways that's just a quick video for his uh 
contest. Um, why YouTube? Um, and me being in law enforcement, a lot of you guys like the law enforcement stuff, and I, you know, I, I kind of wanted to go at that angle some too, just to let you guys know that, you know, answer some of your questions. A lot of you guys don't know anybody in law enforcement. I may be the only person that you know in law enforcement, and you ask me questions why we do what we do. I mean, sometimes you see snippets on the nightly news and on YouTube, and you're like, well, those cops are a bunch of bullies, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's bad ones out there. I admit that, but it's a tough job, and um. Unless you've walked in these shoes, um, it's 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 uh, it can be rewarding at times, but it can be extremely difficult. But just want to let you guys know that you know we law enforcement officers, we we're just human. We're just like you guys. I'm no better, no worse than any of you. Um, we make mistakes. We live with those mistakes. Um, like I say, we're just we're human, um, and that's what I want y'all to see the human side. A lot of people just see us as robots and uniforms but you know we're real people we got families we got children and um, so that just stuff like that guys but anyways I appreciate it he also wanted two shout outs uh, my two shout outs for this video for this contest are gonna be first one's gonna be my good friend Ebalmy Ebalmy a lot of you guys probably know Ebalmy if you watch my channel um, we have a lot of mutual friends here in the gun community um, he's a great guy super funny I really enjoy his videos um, he always leaves great comments on my videos, and I appreciate his friendship and um, appreciate his channel. Keep doing uh, what you're doing, buddy. You got a great channel there. But uh, and my second one, this is gonna be a guy. Some of you may not know this guy. He's into the the older uh, military surplus weapons. Um, has a lot of fascinating firearms, things that I've never even heard of, seen before. Um, he's up north up in Canada. He's my good friend, the Gun Geek. Um, he was the he was the very first guy I ever subbed to on YouTube. Um, I'm a big Mosin the Gant fan, and he had some excellent Mosin the Gant videos. And um, he does um he really goes into detail, and it really explains uh, the history and the workings of the firearms. And he has some great shooting videos as well. He's an excellent shot with those rifles. Um, very impressive shooting he does. But um, I I encourage you guys to go check out Gun Geek too up there in Canada. He's a great guy. So, anyways, guys, that's my response. Um, CS Rob 6620, congratulations on yourselves, my friend. Keep up the good work. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to be in your contest. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.